Hi guys, so in this video we're going to have a look at rearranging the character parts order inside the character studio. So if we take a look at the animation that we have created, we can see that he is moving to the left in here, walking, and then when he stops, he switches to the front position and then sits down. And there is a small problem where this hand is behind his back where it should be in front. So as you can see, when he's having his hands crossed, this hand is showing behind his back rather than at the front. So we would want to fix that. So to fix that, we're going to go inside the character studio in here, where we have all the animation. Let's close the character animation suite and let's see a bit in here. So if we scroll down, we'll find a part named character parts. And these are basically all the character parts that are used in the character. So as you can see, you can have you, you have the head studio, then the right hand, etc. And basically, these parts would show up in the order that they are in here. So for instance, if the head is at top, it would show diff in the front of anything else. So if the hand passes in front of the head in here, the head will actually show in front of the hand because it is set in front in here. So if you would like to put the head back and show it behind the hands, we simply need to drag this layer down so it is under the right arm. In this case, the right arm is not passing from behind the head, so we don't have a problem with that. Now, in this case, we want to bring the left arm in front of the torso. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick all the left arm layers. So left hand, left arm, left arm, left arm. Pick all those up and simply arrange it to be in front of the torso, just like this. And as you can see immediately, now the hand is in the correct order and it is in front of the torso. Now if we play the animation, we, we can now see what this looks like, so... And we can immediately see that there is a problem in here, since now the first part of the animation is actually wrong, since the hand is in front when it should be at the back but it is right in the end part, so in here it is, it is correct. So what actually we need is that the hand we needed to be at the back in here, and then we need to, to switch to the front in here. So to do this, this will be quite simple. So let's simply put back the layer in here, layers, the left arm where it was before. So it's at the back and I suggest that before doing this step, you have all the animation in place so you would know where you would need to, to do this. And what I'm going to do now, so I'm simply going to click on the character studio and duplicate it. So edit and duplicate. Now we have two compositions in here. Now, although we have two compositions in here, you would still need to do all the animations in here. So make sure that you have prepared all the animations before you do this step. And now if we go to character, 03 in here. If we enter in the head, we can see the exactly same thing. And what we are going to do in here is we're simply going to go to the end in here and pick the left arm and place it in front. Let's place it in front of the right foot in here so that it is on top like that. So now we have two compositions with exactly the same animation. So we have character 02 with, with the hand at the back, then you have character 03 with exactly the same animation but with the hand at the front. So with that done, we're now going to jump to the composition that we have created earlier, the animation comp in here, and we're simply going to import this new composition that we have duplicated into it. Make sure that they are exactly on top of each other and they have exactly the same scale, etc., and positioned in the same place. Actually, you can copy the whole transform from here and then paste the whole transform in here so that it fits 100% on it. And now what we're going to do is we are character 03. We're going to, to cut it. So let's find the place where we need the switch to happen from the arm being behind to the arm being to the front. So uh, let's move a little bit in here. 
to the left and the switch is going to happen right over here. So in this case, I'm simply going to split this layer. Let's edit and split layer and delete the first part and also split this layer in here. So edit and split layer and delete the end part in here. So now I have the first composition with the animation at the back and then it switches to the animation with the hand in the front. And let's preview this. And we can now see that this, if we play it, this looks how I want it to be. So right now it's at the back and as the animation progresses, it will start walking it's still at the back. And now it will simply switch to the front like that. Very nice. So this is how you would do it when you would have the animation switching from the side to the front. Now, if you would like to switch it back to the side, for instance, the character, you would like to put another animation that sits up again and starts walking to the side again, for instance, you can simply split this again and move back to, to this one. Always make sure that these, the start of these, this animation is completely at the start.